Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Welcome back to part three of my Arrow Video Blu-ray DVD collection overview. This is the third part and will be the final part. In the first video, you guys saw the Blu-ray slipbox editions and some of the Amore cases and some of the del deluxe Blu-ray editions. In part two, you saw more Amore cases and the DVD collection, as well as some more box sets. For the third part, I moved the final shelf up so it's a little easier for me to present it to you guys. That way I don't have to crouch down and show you that bottom row. Eventually I do have plans to get shelves in here. I've been saying that for a long time. The problem I'm having though is a lot of these stores don't sell DVD or Blu-ray shelving in the stores anymore. You have to buy stuff online. And when it comes to buying furniture and stuff like that, I'm very picky. I would like to see things before I actually buy it. I know what I want. In my mind, I know what I want, but I want to see it before I buy it. But I have a feeling that eventually I'm going to have to order something online because Menards, Walmart, Home Depot, all those stores refuse to carry the DVD Blu-ray shelving units anymore. You can order them online, but they don't have them in store. So enough about that. Let's just get right into the part three here. First one is a Takashi Miike trilogy called Dead or Alive. Comes with this nice slip cover. It has kind of like that foil effect to it. This is really nice. It has Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 2 Birds, and Dead or Alive, Alive Final. So it's a nice addition there. Next one is an Italian film called La Assassino. Uh, the Assassin, and this is a Italian crime film. It is in Italian language with English subtitles, and it is black and white. I have not yet seen the film, but I picked this one up from one of the Arrow sales, and I'm looking forward to checking that one out. The next one is one of my favorite Dario Argento films. This is Tenebrae. I do have several editions of this film. It's one of my favorite giallo films and that's a really nice addition by arrow video i also have their steelbook the next one here is the another takashi Miike trilogy this is called the black society trilogy and you get the shinoko triad society rainy dog and ley lines and it comes with this slip cover the next film here is a UK film called Who Dares Wins. I believe this is kind of an espionage war film. Paranoia, black ops, and espionage combine in Who Dares Wins, a violent and edgy anti-terror classic. The next one here is called Raising Cain. This is a Brian De Palma film, and this is a really nice looking slipcover here that they have. It's a little tight, I don't wanna pull that one off. Next one here I also picked up in one of the Arrow video sales. This is Mario Bava's Five Dolls for an August Moon. The next title here is a werewolf film. This is kind of a comedy. Um, Christopher Lee is in this one. Sybil Danning. This is Howling 2. Fun film. I used to rent that on VHS and watch it on HBO back in the day. Another Italian film. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. This is an Arrow Academy film it's called Cinema Paradiso. It comes with a slipcover. This one's still sealed. But this is a really nice addition. The next one here is the House, the collection. You get House, House 2, House 3, and House 4. Get this nice box set here and then you get Try to get that glare off of there. You get a hardcover book, and then you get each film with, with its own Amory case. Really nice addition. I got Donnie Darko, the box set. I still have yet to open this one up, but I have seen the movie several times. You get uh, three different editions of the film, I believe, or is it one of them a book? You get 4K restorations of both the theatrical cut and director's cut. And I believe that top one is a book. I don't want to take too much time looking that stuff up here for you guys. I just want to keep moving along. Flip this around. 
The next one is the Canadian edition of Creepshow 2 with that purplish cover. Really nice edition. There was also a red one that I showed earlier that was the US edition. The next one is a Spanish horror film called We Are the Flesh. This is one I have still not seen yet. This is Region A. Next one is a upgrade for me. There was a DVD that was put out, I believe, by Severin Films called Psychomania. This is the Blu-ray. Here's a film by Abel Ferrara. This is Driller Killer. This is a kind of a cheesy 80s splatter film, I guess. Next one is a little creature feature film called Slugs, and uh, the cover is really nice. There's a slasher from the 80s called Satan's Blade. Here is a David Cronenberg's early works Blu-ray. You get Transfer from the Drain, Stereo, and Crimes of the Future. Here's one of the gems in my collection. This is the Hellraiser Scarlet Box signed by Doug Bradley at the top up here. Love that edition. Comes with Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2 Hellbound, and Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. Those are the best three. And I got the standard edition with the same films. Comes with the Amory cases. Okay, I had to move around a little bit. Uh, the next box set here is a Kobayashi, the Human Condition Trilogy. Uh, you get Part 1, No Greater Love, Part 2, Road to Eternity, and Part 3, A Soldier's Prayer. And I heard these are very good films. I have yet to watch them, but I picked this up for a very good price on eBay. comes with a little booklet at the top and then the three editions in the Amory case. And uh, let me see what the running time is. These are films from the 50s, late 50s, early 60s. Uh, let's see, it's 574 minutes total running time. That's insane. I'm looking forward to cracking into that someday, but just haven't had time lately. So, the next one is the Taviani box set from Paolo and Vittorio Taviani. You get Padre Padron, The Night of the Shooting Stars and Chaos. It comes with a nice book in three editions again. And, um,. This is region B. I mean, I don't see the total running time, but I think it's like nine hours for the three films, something like that. The next one is Ludwig, and I knew nothing about this box set. I saw that they were selling it on Grindhouse Tampa's website, and I picked it up. Still haven't seen it yet. You get two different editions of the film, and you get a box uh, book with a nice box set here. And from what I hear, it's like a period piece. I'll check that out someday. It looks like a really nice box set, though. The next one here is a Kathleen Turner, Anthony Perkins film called Crimes of Passion. And the only reason I bought this is because of this awesome slipcover, to be honest. I haven't seen the film yet. The next one is called Hangmen Also Die, a film by Fritz Lang. Blu-ray DVD combo from Arrow Academy. This is from the, this 1942 this film came out. Here's a very good film by David Cronenberg called Rabid. It's an infection type of film starring Marilyn Chambers, the porn queen from the 80s. But that is not a porn film, it's just your straightforward uh, zombie infestation type film. Here is the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 1978, I believe. And that's a nice addition there. I also have the Steel Book from Arrow Video. Next one is Burnt Offerings. This is the DVD Blu ray combo. And we have uh, Japanese goodness Pray for Death. Exploitation, starring Pam Greer, Black Mama, White Mama. 
serial killer movie called Tenderness of the Wolves about the story of Fritz Harman, aka the Butcher of Hanover and the Vampire of Hanover. Here is Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, which also has a slipcover that was also released by Criterion on Blu-ray. The next box set here is called The American Horror Project, Part 1. There's, I heard there's going to be a Part 2 box set coming out. You get Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came from the Sea, and The Premonition. Move some of this stuff out of the way here, and you get... A book and three Blu-rays. Really nice edition. The next one is The Complete Dr. Fibes, starring Vincent Price. And you get, um, it's a two-disc Blu-ray, limited edition, limited to 3,000 copies. And you get uh, The Abominable Dr. Fibes, and Dr. Fibes Rises Again. And the complete Dr. Fibes handbook. So that's a really nice addition. Grab that one if you can get it. The next one is Outlaw Gangster VIP, the complete collection. And you get Gangster VIP, Gangster VIP Part 2, Heartless, Goro the Assassin, Black Dagger, and Kill. Comes in this nice little digi pack. Limited edition, limited to 3,000 pieces. The next one is the Rainier Warner Fastbender Collection, and this is a really nice set here. You get a nice book at the top. Then you get The Marriage of Maria Braun, Fox and His Friends, and Chinese Roulette, Effie Briest, Fear Eats the Soul, The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant, the Merchant of Four Seasons and Beware of the Holy Whore and the Early Works. So this is a really nice set here. It was a little pricey, but it's well worth it for the amount of movies you get. That's an Arrow Academy box set right there. One of my favorite additions here from Arrow Video is the Killer Dames box set. You get two Gothic Chillers by Emiglio Maraglia, and these were released in the United States under the label No Shame. And you get the night Evelyn came out of the grave and the Red Queen kills seven times. And these look very, very nice. It's a very good set here. And you get a nice book that comes with it. I believe the box set is out of print, but you can get the standalone editions of those films. And of the two, I like the night Evelyn came out of the grave the best of those two. Another one of my favorite box sets, not just from Arrow, but in my entire collection. And that is the Six Gothic Tales... Vincent Price. This is out of print now. These are Edgar Allan Poe adaptations of The Fall of the House of Usher. Let me pull this out here without damaging it. Um, you get The Pit and the Pendulum, Tales of Terror, The Raven, The Haunted Palace, and The Tomb of Lagaya. I was never really sure how to pronounce that. And you get a nice hardcover book at the top, and then you get each of the movies in a standalone Blu-ray case. Love that box set. Very, very good job by Arrow Video. As always, but this is this is supreme right here. This is really, really nice. Uh, up here along the top, I have a brain damage pin. I forgot to show that before. I do have the brain damage edition with the slip cover. This is a little pin that Arrow threw in. The next one is are some more Edgar Allan Poe films. These are films by Sergio Martino and Lucio Fulci. You get Black Cats, and Your Vice is a Locked Room, and Only I Have the Key, and The Black Cat. Those are the two films you get. And then you get a nice book that goes with it. Here's another set that I haven't gotten into yet. I would really like to. I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. This is the Fukasaku's Battles Without Honor and Humanity, Hiroshima Deathmatch, Proxy War, Police Tactics, and Final Episode in this beautiful box set here. And you get the Yakuza Papers at the top. It's a hardcover book. And then across the top up here, I have 
two films by Luciano Ercoli. You get Death Walks twice. Death Walks at Midnight, Death Walks on High Heels, and you get a nice book. This is limited to 3,000 copies. You get the Female Prisoner Collection, Female Scorpion, Female Prisoner Scorpion Complete Collection. And you get a book and a poster. Uh, you get Female Prisoner Scorpion 701 Grudge Song, Female Prisoner Beast Stable, Jailhouse 41, and number 701 Scorpion. And this was limited to 4,000 copies. And then finally, my last edition is the Bob Hoskins, The Long Good Friday, and Mona Lisa. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo, six disc special edition. You get the, the Long Good Friday discs one and two, Blu-ray DVD, The Long Good Friday three and four, limited edition exclusives. And Mona Lisa Discs, 5 and 6 Blu-ray DVD combo, plus you get a 100-page book. That is The Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa. So that was my entire Arrow Video collection to date. I plan on picking up many more along the way. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if there's any titles that you didn't see in my collection that you think are must-owns. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed recording it. Uh, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? This is actually going to be a part four of my Arrow Video box set collection. Um, I forgot to show three editions. The first one is the Pieces Deluxe box set that came with the Digipack and the 100-piece puzzle that showed the image of the lady from the film. And this was limited to, I think, might have been 5,000 I can't recall this is the blu-ray DVD combo it is region B and region 2 uh, it's limited to 1,000 here it says at the bottom and it also came with the 100 gram vinyl soundtrack which I do have I just don't have it for this video because eventually I'm going to show my vinyl collection the next one I got is the Herschel Gordon Lewis feast this is the one that looks like a cereal box. The goriest, bloodiest pictures ever seen in blood color. You get a Herschel Gordon Lewis annual from 2016 at the top. You get the films of Herschel Gordon Lewis from 1968 to 1972. That is volume 2. And you get the films of Herschel Gordon Lewis, volume 1, from 63 to 67. And it's made to look like it's a cereal box. It has the ingredients and all that stuff there. And then the third box I got was from director Tim Sullivan. I don't want to show his address, so I'm going to cover that up. But he is a film director, and he sold me. He was uh, part of the extra bonus features in this box set here. And he got a couple sets from arrow video for free and he ended up selling me one of his three sets for a very good price let me get this opened here and uh, this is just a little flyer to show the Herschel Gordon Lewis feast set this is a signed picture from Tim Sullivan it says two walnuts HG Lewis forever Tim Sullivan and it's a picture of Tim and the box set is the Shock and Gore Herschel Gordon Lewis box set. I think this was limited to 250. Might have been 500. I can't remember. Let me pull this out. See if I can do it. It's very, very heavy. It's a, the biggest box set that Arrow has put out yet. And let's see. My 
battery is very low. So I'm going to try to get this all in here. You can see that it's a huge set. And I'm trying to see if it has a contents to show what's all inside. Maybe I will do a unboxing of this at a different time because I don't have enough battery right now to do it. But uh, Tim, Tim Sullivan, I have some notes here that uh, I jotted down before when I showed this box set off. He's a writer, producer, director, and actor, and he directed 2001 Maniacs in 2005 that starred Robert England. Um, he was also part of The Deadly Spawn from 1983, did the special effects in that film. And he was also part of VH1 Scream Queens in 2008. And he did a segment of Chillerama from 2011, which was a horror anthology. Uh, that's the segment that he did was I was a teenage werebear and a uh, little trivia that I wrote down here it says his name and picture was on a wanted poster in Jeepers Creepers in a police station so I thought those were pretty good little uh, tidbits for Tim Sullivan and I got this set from him and it makes it even more special so Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I will do, if I get uh, enough interest, if you guys want to see this unboxed, comment below. If enough people comment, I will unbox this on camera. I haven't even opened it up yet. I know that I think there's an LP in here and um, some other goodies. So if you guys want to see that, comment below. Otherwise, take care, and I will catch you in the next video.